So anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So I've got a fence that I'm scrapping out. It's a barnwood fence, as you can see. It was built by my grandpa Howd, and I'm just taking out this old corral and the fence with it. The cool thing about this uh, roof of it, it's actually a sage roof, a sage brush roof. It is caved in on this one end, but look at this. Is that wild? Be good work. So, this was a little cow corral that he had, and well, I just want to salvage out this this fencing, the backside of it. Eventually, I'm going to use these poles up above too for another little project I got going on. So, I used crowbar, used a hammer, used a mallet, used a little sledge, and this kind of cool tool, this one right here. From Crescent. Can't get in there. You can adjust this portion of it to whatever angle you want by just a push of a button. You know, rotate in and out. But it's still not as cool as the, I think they call it a, a roof. A roof fork that's it a roof fork roof fork I got over at Home Depot I want to say it was for thirty two dollars and ninety two cents so thirty three dollars you can get this awesome tool right from Home Depot help you strip out these fences or a roof like I, I doing a I'm decommissioning a barn and it's a corrugated metal and it's been the best tool out of everything that I've, I've purchased directly for it that's been my favorite one here's my crowbar yeah. 42 inch and yeah nothing nothing compares to the roof fork it is awesome it's a 41 inch 41 inches in total length of that sucker and uh, let's go over and kick some butt with it okay don't move yeah let's take a gander let's see how it works Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Are you kidding me? 
this sound right, boy? Everything you just said is my favorite thing to do every day.